Hi, Altaros have just finished working on .NET Cloud Foundry service, a Microsoft .NET based service broker that provides possibility to use Microsoft SQL Server with Cloud Foundry version 2. The broker allows for easy developing and deploying new Cloud Foundry services using Microsoft technology stack. For example, you can quickly add support for new so far unsupported database. Before you will be able to use Broker and Microsoft SQL Server, you have to install it using our installation package. Then, please make sure that the service is available from the web. First integration step is the registration of service broker within Cloud Foundry. You have to start with selecting proper target. Then, you need to authenticate you. Please use administrator user, ac user account. Uh, otherwise, you will not be able to install Service Broker. After providing correct uh, username and password, you need to select Organization and space within this organization. Uh, now we can just uh, double check that our service is not yet service broker is not yet available. Yeah, so far it's not present. And then we can start with adding new service. have to provide username and password that will be used to authenticate with the server for basic authentication. Uh, before you will be able to use our new Microsoft service, we need to make at least one plan available in that service public. Uh, for doing this, we have to get first uh, detailed information. Uh, inside this detailed information we can found uh, unique identifiers generated by Cloud Foundry for us. And we will make uh, unlimited plan public so we need to choose this unique identifier As a sample, we can add one more plan, made one more plan public. Now we're ready to enable service support, Microsoft SQL Service support in our Cloud Foundry installation. We need to oh. we 
we need to choose uh, name of the service and choose plan that we would like to add. So. Service successfully created, we can check this by running services command. Alright, now we are ready for deploying our application to the Cloud Foundry. I have simple test application. And first, we'll demonstrate it. Right now, it's not yet deployed, so we will see that such URL is not available. I will use predefined it. Uh, manifest file for deploying application so my deploy command will be quite simple just push installation is completed we can check that our application is now available just by listing all available applications yes it's available on the first line and successfully running but so far it's not yet bind to our service uh, we can double check that now application is available yes. it works uh, not work but it's present <laughs> now we have to bind our application to Microsoft SQL Server service. Good. I'm strongly recommend restart application after executing any binds in command. We can check status of application. Everything is running successfully. And we also we can retrieve additional information about application different uh, variables That's it. Uh, now we can check that our application can successfully connect to Microsoft SQL Server it just executes simple select one from uh, something 
just to make sure that we have connection so as you can see it's work that's good practically that is it we have application that can connect to Microsoft SQL Server application located inside Cloud Foundry Hurry. Right. Uh, I also would like to demonstrate last set of commands when we decide not to continue working anymore with our application and with our service we need carefully clean up everything so first step will be unbind service from our application then we need to remove our application confirm that we really want to remove it remove service by specifying unbind option we can skip uh, direct unbinding applications uh, from the server and just uh, remove service and force all application unbound yes. we can just make sure that our service is no longer available anymore then we can remove our service broker Good. and don't forget to log off thank you for watching this tutorial